Okay, Steven, this is the one. Coleman and Don Fry, we're going to get and see it, baby. Yeah, this is the rematch everybody's been waiting for. It's been seven years in the making. And Don Fry is focused. As a matter of fact, to up his game, he went over to Frank Shamrock. Don Fry lost to Mark Goldman back in 1996 in the UFC. He lost more than just a fight. When these two throw down, Don knows it'll be completely different this time. When I first lost to Mark Goldman, uh, I watched that fight every day for a year. It, it completely consumed me. He sent me to the hospital, to the ER. Um, I was embarrassed, completely embarrassed. I, I go for the knockout, go for the submission. I just settle for the win. That's my goal. Is a knocking out or submit him. And I just, and the, the, the win is secondary. I brought Frank Shamrock to this fight, you know, and this is my first time training with him because I was looking for that extra punch, you know, that, that I need a new trick. And Frank's scientific. Frank's got, he's got a bag full of tricks. I've trained a lot of people. In fact, I've made my career in training people and then in fighting later. I respect Don immensely. And I respect his heart and his ability. It's going to be a battle of wills, I think, when it comes down to it. Styles make fights. You know, and this is a style that matches up really nicely. They, they say a, a mule will wait 20 years to, to kick you. I've been waiting seven years to kick Mark. Uh, I'm training, training correctly for this fight. Tom Fye will definitely win this fight. I'm going to win this fight. I'm going to win this fight in spectacular fashion. I want to knock him out or I'm going to submit him. <laughs> he looks very serious. I don't know, but he really wants revenge, man. Whoa. Yeah, I went down to Frank Shamrock to get some new tricks. <laughs> but you better believe that Mark Coleman has got a few tricks up his sleeve. Oh, he has to. Mark Coleman loves the fight game. And in 1996, he took it to Don Fry. And he's looking to do it again. And there's no love lost between these two. Coleman may have been away for a while, but he's ready for this highly anticipated rematch with Fry. I, I don't know what he's going to say now, but he didn't like me at all. And back in 96, I didn't particularly like him. Come fight night, I'll be ready to go. It's been a long journey. I haven't fought in a long time, you know, I, I'm itching to get back in there and get back to the top, top of the rankings. I don't want to just get back in there. I think uh, with, with, with the proper coaching and the proper training, I still, I got still plenty of fights left in me. I expect to ground and pound down for I to a victory. Possibly even submit the guy, I don't know. Maybe I've added a few tricks to my bag and maybe he has too, but I, I still vision a similar fight as the last one. When I get in the ring with Don Fry this time, you know, it doesn't matter if he likes me or I like him. It doesn't matter one bit. We are both got the same goal in mind. That's to win that fight, no matter what it takes. You better have done your homework once the bell rings. Coleman looks ready. Fly looks ready. If you fans can pick this fight, you're better than we are because we can. No. But, well, we're going to find out when the fight happens. So let's go to the fight. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Stephen? Cheers. Cheers.
Sideways stare, and when he does that in the ring, people go ballistic. <laughs> they showed on the big banner just a few seconds ago. You saw it. Look at him, all serious. Don Fry is one of those kind of guys who can talk trash from the heart and still retain a little bit of dignity when he does it. He's a quote a minute. I've always loved this guy from the minute I saw him in 1996. I judged his first mixed martial art event, and man. He's still here, he's still relevant, and he's coming back for payback. Yeah, I always see Don Fry as, uh, now I love America, you know that, and I see him as, he is the American symbol, this yeah. guy. He is, he's living, breathing, eating, eat everything. He's a pure American guy. Yeah, look at the trucks. And there you go. He's got the good old USA flag on his trucks. Yeah. Stars and stripes, and Don the Predator Fry in the ring. And his adversary. He won the Pride Grand Prix 2000. Mark the Hammer Coleman. These two warriors are not strangers, and this is a rematch, and we have been waiting for this rematch for a long time. This is it. This could be the fight of the decade. I mean, um, <laughs> there's no words, no nothing. Look at this. He needs the same amount of security as Don needed. Um, I, I, I cannot expect this fight to be boring. Well, Coleman knows that this is a lot of pressure on him to come back in after a year and a half layoff and face that man there, Don the Predator Fry. This is a crazy main event for you folks there in the English-speaking universe. Fry fighting championships, bad to the bone, and both these men are bad to the bone. you got the charging rhinoceros in Mark the Hammer Coleman and the wild dog in Don the Predator Fry. Both these gentlemen are stubborn. Both of these guys are mean. They're ornery. And they're going to be straight at each other when that bell rings. Yep. I, I'm i sitting here, and I, I, I told the people behind, before the whole event started, I, I, I said, listen, I'm nervous. They said, nervous? I said, no, not for the commentating, but for the fight that we're going to about to see tonight. Nervous. And I'm really nervous for this one. Don the Predator Fry with his quarterman Frank Shamrock looking on. Mark Coleman surrounded by strength personified in Gary Big Daddy Goodrich and Tom Erickson and Brandon Lee Hinkle. Oh, oh, look is, at this folks. stare down. Don Fry never had a boring stare down. <laughs> no. And Mark Coleman. Look at the referee. <laughs> has always been the strong man in his fights. Uh, this is going to be 
two Iron Warriors meeting face to face, fist to fist, tackle to tackle. Whoa, Steven. This is going to be it. What do you think? He's going to shoot right in? Mark. I don't know, but here we are. Yokohama Arena Pride Body Championships Bad to the Bone. The main event. Rye versus Coleman. No. I think uh, Fry wants this to be a boxing match. Whoa. And Coleman wants to take it down. Although there's a left hook lead by Coleman. Coleman ducking under. Fry working for the front face lock. Does he have the guillotine? No, I don't think he's under. Nice knee to the head. That's a good thing to do right here. He had a good takedown defense right from the bat. He's got to stay away. Coleman is very fast. Phenomenal wrestler. You make one mistake, he's going to put you on your back. Fry has waited seven years for this match. And now it is unfolding before us. What blessed we are. Oh, yes. And uh, Fry's corner yelling right knee, which would seem to be the right weapon to throw right now. And he should make it flash. You go in and pull it out as fast as you can. Well, Mr. Root, you were saying that this was probably going to look a lot like uh, Ken Shamrock versus Don Fry. Oh, and nice. Fry with a beautiful tackle defense. Knee to the head, which is always good to the head because you cannot grab the leg. You have to defend it, otherwise there's a possibility of going KO. Yes, and Mark Coleman is no stranger to the knee, but usually he's the one delivering them. <laughs> yeah. And now he's the one taking them. But we shall see early in the fight, Coleman wants to take this one to the mat, I'm sure. Over, under, they're clinched up, up, fry with his back, and you better believe that uh, Coleman's going to go down and try and pick up a leg. Ooh, good knees there. This is the second left knee that uh, Don is throwing and had an impact. And again, knee to the body. That's the liver right there, which could hurt you a lot. There you go. Come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. Nice. He's turning away from the corner. Have you seen any change in Don Fry so far uh, because of his training with Frank Shamrock? Um, no, we couldn't, we couldn't have seen it yet. He, um, I think cautiousness. He didn't go in right away and go straight forward. I think uh, for sure that Frank told him do not go in and, uh, and start hitting because Colin's going to take you down. So I think he... That. But... Um, for the rest, and knees. He's throwing some good knees right here. This is a high stakes affair because Coleman wants to jump into the top 10 title picture, and Fry uh, also is probably look, taking a look at that title too. But more importantly, this is about pride. And here we are, pride fighting championships. Hey, it's coincidence. It's like, it's, it's a screenplay. Fry said he's feeling younger. As a matter of fact, he said he's found, found the fountain of youth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I like that. It's a, it's a good breakup um, and a restart standing. And I'm sure that Fry, who traditionally used to be a southpaw, now he's fighting orthodox. Oh, he made the left hook right there. Coleman seems very relaxed here. Yep, he does. This is the most relaxed I've seen Coleman in a long time. Oh, he's got that left hand lead. Oh, and he shoots and he gets the takedown. Coleman on top. And this is where Coleman won the uh, first fight that they had from this position. Yep, and now I think that uh, we're going to see a different fight. Uh, um, I hope that we're going to see Don fight different than normally because he's going to listen to Frank, which is a very good, in, yeah, a very good teacher, of course, and I think he's going to keep this guard nice and tightly closed. We had the opportunity to spend a lot of quality time with uh, Fry's trainer, Frank Shamrock, didn't we? Yes, it was, it was perfect. Uh, we had a, a good talk. All the people know all the things <laughs> between me and Frank. Huh? Yes, yeah, you know, but, uh, I, I'm friends with both of you guys, obviously, but, you know, you, you guys kind of, like, had the peace pipe happening. I mean, it was, it was a great situation. Yes, I was, uh, I'm, I'm very about the whole situation. Um, go, going back to the fight, Don has his guard open, which is a thing that I don't 
advice. He should close the guard and because, Marks because Coleman's going to try and get si Coleman's going to probably, probably pass the guard to get side mount and try to get north south and but, finish him with knees to yes. the top of the head. The way he finished both Chanch in uh, May 2000. And yep. Yeah. And Coleman blasting away, but Coleman is being more economical with his energy here. Uh, one of the things Coleman used to do was come out in such a flurry, he would sometimes tire himself out, but he's uh, metting out his punches uh, extremely wisely here. Yep, and uh, there's some good, great power behind it. Maybe you think, oh, it's not that hard, but the shots to the body, they're going to take their toll at the end. Later in order to fight, nice there, right, right hand, right hook to the body and a right yeah, hook straight to the head, which I always advise everybody to do. But Throw. Coleman's starting to sneak through with that left hand, but nothing of real, real consistent damage. No. Yeah, I, good, good call. Yeah, but just uh, stop, don't move. It's wait, another it, restart. Oh, it's a stop, don't move? Yeah, one of our favorites. Yes. <laughs> you see, but because they move. Yeah, they do move. Whoa. And there we go again. Um, yeah, okay, the game plan. Again, Mark, Mark should go to the side. This is what Mark should do. Yes, and, he, and he's got, he almost has a complete side mount because he probably wants to work for either the key lock, the knees to the head, or even the side choke, jumping oh, over. Uh-oh, oh, mount, and, and now Fry gets out. Fry's got the leg. leg. Now, now, this is going to be uh, a wear and tear position for anyone who's uh, had any kind of knee surgery, and we know that Coleman has. And that was, was that Coleman's knee or Fry's head that hit the yes. ground? Yes. It might have been his head. Whoa. Elbows to the back, punches. Okay, now uh, Fry is going to try and pull that left leg toward him, and that was going to create a bit of a pinch, and it could put Coleman on his back. And there Coleman is going for not a toe hold, but, well, is it, is it a toe hold? Uh, do we call that the uh, gluteus maximus toe hold? Hey, listen, he could make one. If he pulls with his left hand on the toes, and with the right he's pushing the heel, he could make a toe hold. Look at this. And Look Coleman this. pulls Fry over almost on top of him. Coleman on top again against the ropes. Probably going to restart him again in the center in the same position. That was a good shot there and there. Yes. We've seen that punches from the bottom can be devastating. Mirko Krokop demonstrated that against Sakuraba in the Shockwave show last year. Still, um, Don Fry needs to close his guard, I think. But uh, Mark hasn't been trying to pass Not one time, so so yeah, maybe he doesn't need to. Well, Coleman snuck in two right hands to the head and then one to the body before Yuji Shimada, the referee, has uh, restarted them in the center in the same position on the ground. In the back of both fighters' minds, you know that they're thinking about their gas tank. Yes. They are thinking about the stamina element because both guys are strong and both guys uh, know that this could go into the third round. They don't want to rush out there, blow all their energy, and then be a sitting duck for the other guy. Yeah, but I think from this, right now, as we've seen it for the last one and a half minutes, I think we should need a restart on the feet because there's not real significant damage has been done here. Yeah. I agree. Um, I think Coleman, more than Fry, obviously wants it to stay in this position. Yeah. So he's going to try and stay busier. Whereas Fry probably needs to try and lock up the hands. And uh, do you think that Fry could uh, sweep him from here? Yeah, he could try. You can always try. Uh, you can, uh, if you don't uh, try, it's like, yeah. I come again with my saying, if you don't shoot, you always miss. So yeah. might as well try it. And, uh, but if you want to, and you really want to explode, I would do it like the last minute. If they give the sign, one minute uh, left, then just explode and go for everything you have. I'm betting that this fight will not end in a submission. No, I don't think so either. But I'm not going to bet. Go to the 
One minute. I, I, what do you think? Is uh, Yuji uh, going to restart him? In no, I think he's going to let him sit for one minute. He, he's not going to restart him with only one minute left. But I think that they're going to have some different game plans to talk about in their corner. Yep. Whoa, nice shots to the body. He's setting it up for a right hook to the hat. Yeah, I think right now Don thinks, you know what, let's wait 30 seconds more and then um, go to round number two. There you go, 30 seconds more. Neither man has done that much damage, but Coleman has been the more aggressive with the punches. And uh, he's had Fry where he wanted him. It looked like Fry was going to be able to uh, stop the takedown, but right when he thought he wasn't, he ended up on his back. Well, yeah, round two and round three, this is good. That, those are going to be the rounds where something really is going to happen, I think. Yeah, I, I, I think both guys, I mean, if there be such a thing in the Pride Fighting Championships as a feel-out round, that was the one. Pride Fighting Championship fights are fought under the potential of three rounds. First round is the endurance round of ten minutes. And the subsequent second and third round are of five minutes each. Uh, if the fight goes to distance, it would be a 20-minute fight, and it would go to the judges. There are no draws in the fight, the Pride Fighting Championships. And that first round, that's uh, Don Fry's lovely wife, Molly. Uh, it, she's drinking a lot of water because it's kind of warm in here in the Real Calm Arena. Oh, shit. I mean, I'm sweating. And here's that left hook lead by Coleman, and he ducks under. Fry sprawls and goes through the front face lock. And... Uh, here we have uh, Mark trying Kevin. for that clinch. Yep, because um, Don Fry caught a little headbutt there by accident, accidentally thrown. So not on purpose. And here we have Coleman blasting away with that right hand to Fry, who's on the bottom, with a guard around Coleman's waist. I think that... Uh, one of the elements that Don Fry may have worked on with Frank Shamrock is his cardio and his ability to stay relaxed. What do you think, boss? I still think exactly the same because we know that Frank is uh, one of the, there you have him with the cap, baseball cap, one of the most well-conditioned athletes, fighters in the game. And um, that's going to be a major factor later in the fight. If Coleman's going to get tired, he might run into a little problem. Yeah, Frank is one of those guys that came in uh, to mixed martial arts as a submission guy, but then improved his stand-up. Uh, with Don Fry, I think that what Frank is uh, teaching, Don Fry was fighting down lower yep. when they first started. I think he got that from Frank. Because he was he was thinking, you know, Coleman's going to shoot at the legs. So hopefully the, the training from Frank Shamrock will pay off in this one. Because... Uh, no secret here what Coleman wants. As he would always say, ground and pound, baby. And he's the man who invented the style. He, he is the man that even Fedor gave his ground and pound to Mark Coleman. He, he told everybody that it was because of Mark Coleman that he did the ground and pound so good. Fry said that they trained. I mean, Frank put him through the mill two to three times a day. Training. I believe it. And Coleman shooting. It's a sh it's a slow shot. Um, an easy oh, block. And there's a little bit. Of he's underneath. Yeah, he is underneath the jaw. Okay, but Coleman is going down low. And Coleman's going to get the double? Or is he going to get choked out? Oh, Coleman gets the takedown inside mount. Bad position for Fry yep. momentarily. Uh, Fry has got Coleman's right leg underhooked on the ground. But he wants to basically... Uh, get his left elbow in front of that uh, right knee, otherwise he's gonna start getting knee in the side of the head. Uh oh, north-south position. Yeah. This is a terrible position for Fry to be in because if Coleman can underhook both arms under Don's arms and that, stay in north-south, he can end the fight. Yeah, but look at this, the knees to the head. From Fry on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna restart and good. And Fry, uh, Fry gets to regroup. It's a stop, don't move. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, 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 I'll tell you what, Coleman has to be happy with the way that this round is unfolding. Now let's see what he's going to do. It's, I, I... Okay, uh, 
Fry has to get out of this position. Yes, he, he cannot stay in this position. Coleman is way too dangerous. Okay, now uh, Fry escaping from north-south. Now Coleman with side mount. Coleman with belly up. Um, can, uh, can Fry flip him to the left, boss? I think it's very difficult, especially a high-skilled um, wrestler like oh, Coleman. Th there's the Maurice Smith move, the smother move. Don Fry's right hand over the mouth and nose of Mark Coleman. And you can see the grimace on Coleman's face. Is he losing air here, boss? Yeah, but the only thing he has to do is pull his head back. And uh, that, that's pretty much the escape. But he was looking for air. That's one thing for sure. The next time we, uh, the next version of the Boston Big Books, let's do the... Uh, the defense. The, the hold your breath move. <laughs> yeah. Underwater, you know. In round three. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, three minutes left in this second round. Mark the Hammer Coleman having his way with the takedowns and position. Don Fry working defensively here. Coleman working for the north-south and almost getting it. Uh, if, if that uh, left arm of Fry slips down, it's going to be a tough thing for Fry. Yep. Uh, here we go again. The left punch to the body from Coleman and the right knees to the head from Fry. But I think the key to success for Coleman is right now the knees to the head. Yeah. Climb up a little higher so you can create some space, distance, and then start raining knees. Okay, he's almost got the position, Mark does. And yeah. Fry, there's one. Uh oh. It's not a good position for Fry, as we said. And he can he can try and stop those, but they're still gonna have impact, even though he's got his arms out. This could be over, folks. This is shades of his fight with Bochanch, and totally, this is what Coleman wanted. Um, Don Fry should post both hands on uh, Coleman's hips and push himself away from him and try to turn out. You gotta throw your legs over his body. It's, a, it's, a, it's very difficult to explain, but there is a thing that you can do right now, and you have to do it fast. Instead of laying there and receiving the knees, it's better to take a few shots, but then escape. Should Coleman try and elevate his entire body high in the air the same way that uh, Kevin Kev Randleman did? Because I think he could end the fight with a couple knees like that. Yes. The skyscraper knee? Yeah. I think the skyscraper knee by Coleman would be the fight ender here. Although Don Fry is one stubborn guy. He's got one hard <laughs> yeah. head. I mean, the hardest head around is Kazuki Fujita. Don Fry has got to be second. He's got to be way up there. And But but the thing I'm, I'm the most afraid of then is a cut. Yes. Because knees, you know, cuts. Although Mark Coleman, we see, he's wearing uh, those knee bands, or how we call them? Knee guards. Knee guards. And uh, they take away, obviously, the cutting effect. <laughs> Yes, they do. Uh, and there's a headbutt to the stomach, and Yuji Shimada <laughs> telling him, uh, can't do that. He should explode. Yes, um, and there Don it Fry is. should explode, and Mark Coleman should explode. Both, they should explode, go for something. Should John Fry even bother throwing his own knees from the bottom? No, he should try to escape this position. Wrap around his waist and explode as hard to the left or to the right as you can, so that um, Mark has to find balance. Otherwise, he's going to be on his back. And, but at least then he cannot throw the knees. We've seen Don Fry come back uh, yeah. from positions and fights and take beatings and come Ooh. back and stop people. Uh, Coleman is very, being very economical about conserving his energy, though. And yeah. that's one thing that is really impressing me here about him. Yes, and, and the way he sets his knees up, too. Um, he's giving a left knee, and then uh, when Fry blocks the left knee, he, he, uh, right away he attacks with a right knee. So he's, he's doing a good job. He's yes, doing a good yes, job. Yes, he is. And as I said before, he's being very conservative with his output. Uh, I think Coleman is not in a, in a real aggressive stance to just end this fight with a TKO. I think he, he will settle for a victory by decision. Because he knows Don Fry is the kind of guy that if you try and TKO him, he'll TKO you. Yeah, we saw what happened uh, in the last round with Ken Shamrock. Suddenly out of the blue, bang, their right hook was there, right on the money. Here we go, almost north-south position. And it's that uh, left arm of Fry that is preventing the north-south position. And Fry trying with his own knees from the body uh, to the head. And uh, here we are. Uh, Coleman in complete control yep. pretty much this whole round dictated how and where this fight was fought and using his trademark knees to the top of the head the north-south position there's another one there's a left and a right and watch this he's gonna block it and then he makes the other one 
Let me see if they show that. Yeah, what, what Don needs to do right now, he, he, he has to go ballistic in round number three. And he's, got, he's got to keep it standing. He's yeah. got to do some damage standing, though. He's got to make Coleman back up. He's got to, he's got to sting Coleman, try and knock Coleman out. Like the, He's got to do what he did, like we said, with Ken Shamrock. He's got yep. to go in there, catch him on the button, put him on his back, and then maybe step back and make him get back up. Dizzy and try and stop him rather than fall on top of him, have him flip him over. You know what I mean? Yep, I know exactly what you mean. And and, and he has to do it because he's been waiting for this for seven years, so he's got to go. He's got to go. This is his life now. If Coleman's going to get him down and he's going to get the same control, Coleman's going to win this fight. Coleman said that uh, he probably will have some ring rust in this fight, but he said that he uh, heard me mention one time during a commentary that a fighter was losing the ring rust within the fight and he said he's probably going to lose his ring rust after that first round which is 10 minutes yeah. hey, you know what okay this is the final round of our main event don fry on the left and mark coleman on the right and can mark coleman take his fight to the ground again and can he start raining those knees because if he rains those knees it's dangerous those knees have a lot of impact especially when you're on the top yeah, they can give you a real headache. Oh, yeah. I've been in the position. Uh, oh. They're locked up now, which is going to favor Coleman because he's going to pick those legs just yes, like and that. He's going to get the take down. Fry cannot stop that. I don't think there's anybody in this business. Once Coleman grabs a double, they can stop him. No, I don't think so either. And now he's got the side mount. Uh, for Coleman, he should start raining knees to the body, like we saw Alistair doing. Oh, and he's doing it right now. You see, you set everything up. If you start raining knees to the body, the defense goes low, and then you go for the head. Um, Don's got to really explode him. Yeah, he does, because Boss, if he stays in this position, Don's going to lose this fight. Yes. Yep. Okay, we've got four minutes left, and Coleman position. is mounted on top of Don Fry, and this is really a bad position because Coleman can do a number of things here. Yes, but Don Fry, if, okay, not anymore. When Mark stretches his leg out, don't do it, underhook the leg and get out. But he's gonna waste a lot of energy trying. Yes, but hey, it's a big it's a big back door. And um, I, I think I never in that's in training of course, which is a total different thing, but if somebody does it, it's a, a big door you, you escape for sure. But this is what Coleman wants. He wants to be on top, he wants to be in range to deliver punches. He's controlling his head. You see how he controls Don's head with his yes. forehead? Yeah. It's a perfect thing because if you control somebody's head, you control his whole upper body pretty much. Like, like this cross face all the time. It's a very annoying thing to do and very effective. He's going to go for the hammerlock, I thought, or for the figure four, I call it. Yeah, but he shouldn't do it from the mount because he could flip easily. Yes. But he can, he can make it and then jump to the side mount. Right. Oh, oh he now he can choke? turn. Now he, no, he can turn him now. Right. Um, don't shoot a hook with his right foot leg. No, he should go to the okay, other side. He's going for the figure four behind the neck. Uh, or oh, no, he's just he's just holding the arm down, and he's starting to crack on Don Fry's face in, with regularity. Don Fry looking busted up now, but he's not going to go. And Coleman trying for his smother move. Yeah, but I don't see that happen happening. Um, Yes, Don should explode now to the left or to the right. I don't Just know, boss. Is, is Don in trouble here? He's trying. He's trying to. Don may be in trouble, boss. That's why he should explode. If he explodes to the right, you, know, you, you this, create distance. This Coleman is trying for that squeeze that he's got patented. He's taking out Dan Severn with this different position, of course. But his mouth is not on his chest. It looks like it looks like the mouth of Don is not right on the chest. You see, he but, should explode. But Coleman. To the left. He should explode to the left. I don't know if he's got it. It, it. For me, it doesn't look like he's got it. But if he doesn't, and Coleman uses a lot of energy, but we're, it's getting near the end of the fight. Yeah, so it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, because Coleman just squeezing him is going to weaken him anyway. Fry needs to get either back on top. Oh, this is round and pound he should right here. And Coleman wants him face up. He doesn't want to try and choke him out. Coleman uh, has never uh, rear naked choked anyone, so he wants to keep him face up, round and pound. I think Coleman wants to either TKO him. Okay, it's getting busy here. Don should explode. He should buck up. Buck up with his hips. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And Coleman has to look for balance so he can't punch. It's like a rodeo. Rodeo. Yes. Move, move. He's got to move. He's got to underhook the leg now. Coleman scoring again and again. Don Fry finally fires back, but it's very hard to get power. One minute left in the fight. Coleman in total control here, mounted on top of Don Fry. Don Fry may need a miracle to pull this one out. Yep. He needs it for sure. He needs a stand up and then a, a, a knockout shot because otherwise he's going to lose the fight. Yeah, it doesn't appear it's going to happen, folks. Cook him, cook him, cook him, man. Cook him. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Give him the oven, give him the oven. Coleman in control, staying busy, 30 seconds left. The rematch has turned into a Mark Coleman ground and pound clinic so far. Yep. Coleman staying on top, year and a half layoff, come back, facing the eternal tough guy and Don the Predator Fry, and it looks to us like he has got it. We're edging towards 10 seconds now. And there it is, folks. The end of the match. It appears obvious that yep. Mark the Hammer Coleman will now go 2-0 against the Predator. Yep, and uh, yep, I'm the, it's the same thinking here. He did, it, he did what he had to do. Take him down, get the control, and here we go. Let's see what's going on. That was a smart move to do. This was just a situation where Fry just didn't have what it took to get Mark Coleman off of him. That's a, that's a bottom line. Coleman even tried that submission there, but it wasn't really a submission, as, as you said. Yeah. If you don't have the face in your chest, you can't make the guy tap. No, that's not going to work. He should buck here. He should buck and buck and explode up. So he's got to find his balance. Um, yeah, that's well, it. Well, in a way, I think Mark Coleman... Uh, really needed this fight maybe more than Don Fry because Don Fry, win or lose, can probably still retain his popularity here in Japan. Whereas Mark Coleman, he hadn't fought in a long time and in a popularity contest, it's probably Fry that wins the votes, but Coleman's going to win this fight. Yes. Yep, and that was it. It was no surprise. As we predicted, boss, Mark the Hammer Coleman has pounded out a unanimous decision over his nemesis, the Predator, Don Fry. And it was a class of wills, it was a class of strategies, but you know, it went back to their old ways, in a way. Yes, it is. The only thing, there were no headbutts, um, but yeah, Mark is a phenomenal wrestler. Once he has somebody down, you know, it's very difficult to reverse the situations. He's got this great arsenal of knees. He did just, he did, he did what he had to do. Yes, and now we got the questions. Is Mark the Hammer Coleman ready to take on Fedor Emelianenko, the Pride Heavyweight Champion? Is Coleman ready for some of the other tough guys in the division? Marco Prokop lurks out there. He, Aaron, we've got a whole bunch of things. We've seen Quentin Jackson, and we've got a tournament coming up, folks. The the Total Elimination 2003, August 10th. And who's going to be in that one, El Wapo? There are going to be a lot of people in one. One thing we know for sure, there's going to be Quentin Jackson. We've got Vandalay Silva. We have Sakuraba. And I think, yeah, maybe Dan Henderson needs to be in. Huh? But we don't know short for that one. So these three people are going to be in it for sure. And this was an outstanding show. The Pride Fighting Championships, Bad to the Bone. I'm Stephen Quadros. I am the Fight Professor, alongside our broadcast partner, Boss Hooten. And there's Don Fry uh, getting out of the ring. Mark Sorry. the Hammer Coleman. It wasn't one of my. Let's listen more to the exciting fight. But it's been a long time. I've had a lot of injuries. I told you I would come back. I'm halfway back. I will continue to improve and become the dominant fighter I once was. I promise. Yes, we can talk over this because the check is... Okay, there he said it. Mark Coleman said he will continue to improve, but he's only halfway back. But he will become the dominant fighter that he once was. And I, and I believe it because everybody, when everybody gave up on him before the Grand Prix, you remember, two years ago, 
He came champion. back and he came back with a bang. So this man. is the kind of person that really can do it. I'm very happy to get this win. Okay, he's paying respect there to his competitor, Don Fry. There's really no bad blood between these guys. It's just a no. competition. I will continue to work hard. I promise. I will get that go back. Oh, well, it, Quentin Jackson doesn't have uh, a market only on cursing. Mark the Hammer Coleman keeps it real with us, <laughs> and he says he's zeroing in on that Pride Fighting Championship belt. I know it's going to take one hell of a lot of work, but I'm going to do it. I promise I'm going to do it. Mark the Hammer Coleman is back. Who's next for him? I don't know. Um... I, I can't tell. I, I, I don't know anybody right now who we can face. We got such a great heavyweights in the fight, fighting championships. Uh, pretty much everybody is good. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Well, <laughs> I don't know what I think, but I know Fedor's still the champion. Yeah. And I do know that we have that tournament. Total Elimination 2003. It's going to be the ultimate middleweight tournament. Who's going to be in that one, boss? Okay, now let me see. Um, I think Sakuraba is ah, going to be in it. Yes. <laughs> and then we got Vandalay Silva. And let's not forget Quinton Rampage Jackson. And that is a match that I'm really looking forward to. So with a little luck, ladies and gentlemen, and maybe I shouldn't say that, but I really just want to see those two guys fight. This has been an outstanding show. Pride Fighting Championships, bad to the bone, comes to an end. I'm Stephen Quadros. I am the Fight Professor. Alongside my broadcast partner, his name is El Wapo. He is Boss Rutten. We're wishing you a very, very good night. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on August 10th for the Total Elimination 2003.